Hello friends, in this video we make lead to acetate via the reaction of lead metal with glacial acetic acid. Lead acetate or the sugar of lead is a colorless or white monoclinic crystalline compound and is an extremely toxic soluble lead salt. It was used previously as a sweetener in wines due to its sweet taste. It has been completely replaced by other safer substituents. Materials required for this preparation include 10 grams of lead metal, 25 milliliters of glacial acetic acid and 10 ml of hydrogen peroxide. Here I have taken 10 grams of lead metal shots in this 250 milliliter beaker. It's placed on a magnetic stirrer with stirring on. Into that was added 25 milliliters of glacial acetic acid. You can very well notice that there is no reaction with glacial acetic acid. Even if you place it for a day, nothing is going to happen. To make the reaction proceed, few milliliters of 30% hydrogen peroxide was added. On adding, you immediately see an oxide layer on the lead metal. This is actually preventing the reaction from happening. So, a few milliliters of hydrogen peroxide was added again. You can see how that black layer got removed and the clean shiny surface come into view. Soon a vigorous reaction start to take place with the glacial acetic acid and a lot of bubbling occurs. This is why I used a relatively bigger reaction vessel for the small amount of reactants as there was a lot of splashing going on. What is happening here is the direct combination of lead metal with acetic acid forming lead to acetate and hydrogen gas is being released. The reaction is extremely exothermic and the contents of the beaker is boiling right now. You can see a lot of forming going on and a dark precipitate is seen on top. All those are impurities that remain unreacted. We keep on adding hydrogen peroxide in small lots when you see the reaction dying down. Finally, a time comes that even after adding the hydrogen peroxide, the reaction is not proceeding forward. This means the end of the reaction and we go on with filtration. Finally, the solution is filtered and the clear filtrate is collected and it was then poured onto a large crystallizing dish and was allowed to evaporate over time. I placed it outside and because of the high temperature and wind, it quickly evaporated and even though the crystals were formed, there was a lot of crust formed along with it. So the crystals were actually distorted and was not so beautiful. You can see the monoclinic crystals at the bottom of the crystallizing dish but a lot of crust was there. So I tried my best to separate out some of the crystals. And these are the crystals that I obtained after carefully separating out some of the crystals from the crust. You can see the monoclinic arrangement. I then redissolved most of the lead acetate and this time I placed it indoors and let it evaporate for a period of two weeks. By then beautiful crystals of lead acetate was formed and these are the crystals that I separated out. Now we will do a simple test using lead acetate. Here I have a solution of lead to acetate. Into that I will dip a filter paper and I will soak the filter paper in lead acetate and then I will dry this filter paper. In this beaker here I am producing hydrogen sulphide gas and on showing the filter paper over the hydrogen sulphide you can see the filter paper turning black due to the formation of lead sulphide. So that's all in this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. These are my Patreon supporters who are financially supporting me so that I am able to do more videos. You can also support me financially via PayPal or Patreon. Both of the links are given in the description. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button for notifications and I will see you in the next video.